Good morning church and welcome to our morning devotion. In the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 it says man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Today we all are living in a computer age where we can commun- communicate with people who are living in far away countries in just a matter of seconds. whatever we enter in a computer it reaches from one place to another place within few seconds 30 to 40 years back we used to send letters by post and it used to take days for our letters to reach but today we just have to type an email or an sms or maybe a whatsapp message and within few second our message reaches to any part of this world Today even we can communicate from space to earth within few seconds. So just imagine if a man's word can move so fast today how much fast can the word of God go and accomplish God's purpose. Isaiah 55 verse 11 it says my word which goes out of my mouth it will not return to me empty without accomplishing what i desire and without succeeding in the purpose for which i sent it and in mark 16 verse 20 it says and they went out and preached everywhere while the lord worked with them and confirmed the word by the signs that followed yes god's word does miracles even today we may wonder what the word of god is it simply means the word from god psalm 138 verse 2 says that for you have made your word great according to all your name not only we can receive miracles but we can overcome the enemy by the word of god when jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness he became hungry satan came to jesus in a deceiving way and said if you are the son of god command these stones to become bread but jesus answered to satan saying it is written written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god the devil did not give up when he failed in his first attempt then the devil took jesus to the holy city and told jesus to throw himself down he said he shall give his angel charge over you and in their hands they shall lift you up lest you dash your foot against a stone But Jesus replied It is written you shall not tempt the Lord your God Once again we see that Satan failed but he did not give up Finally we see that devil then showed to Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and their glory and he told Jesus that he would give all of them only if he worship him but jesus replied away with you satan for it is written you shall worship the lord your god and him only you shall serve finally the devil could not stand before jesus and he left in defeat and in shame yes jesus overcame the temptation of the enemy only by the word of god because the word of god is full of life and full of power and we too can overcome the temptation of the enemy with the word of god yes god's word does miracles even today when we speak the word of god miracles happen in our life as well as in the life of others today we can pray to jesus and we can tell jesus the the times that we have taken your word lightly without even realizing the importance of it we can thank god for opening our eyes 
to understand and to accept the truth every time we read the bible we can tell god to teach to teach us your scriptures and to help us to walk according to your word give us the grace to overcome the enemy with your word like how you overcame the enemy with the word and finally we can say to fill our life with your blessing so that we can be a blessing to others so let us begin our day and also let us end our day by meditating upon god's word because his word does miracles and wonders even today amen